Welcome! In this tutorial you will learn how to create different views in Tableau. In Tableau you can create views either manually or automatically. Let us first discuss creating views manually. Creating views in Tableau is as simple as drag and drop. You can drag the fields from the data window and drop them onto the cards and shelves in the worksheet. Let us quickly see how to create views manually. I have already created a new sheet in Tableau and connected to the coffee chain access data. As you can see, the data plane displays a list of dimensions and measures. Now, consider that you wish to analyze the sales data for each product. To do so, I'll simply select this product dimension, drag and drop it to the rows shelf. Optionally, I can also drop it to the area that says drop fields here. Let us now drag and drop the sales measure to the columns. As you can see, Tableau has quickly created a horizontal bar view for us. Creating views manually is simple, but it can be time consuming. And that's when we prefer to create views automatically. We use the Show Me button present on the toolbar to create views automatically. Often people find difficulty in mapping the data to the view that addresses their analytical needs. Tableau examines the data for us and suggests useful views to analyze the data. Using Tableau's automatic feature can also help you work faster by providing a starting point for the view that you can refine further. Let us navigate back to the interface and see how this works. Let us clear this sheet first. To create views automatically, we'll first select the dimensions and measures of our interest. Let's say we select state and sales measure. We can select multiple fields by holding the control key on the keyboard. Now let us click show me on the toolbar. Tableau is smart enough to show the type of visualization that would go with the selected dimension and measures. For example, with the state dimension and sales measure, you can select the text table view. This will show you the data in simple tabular format. You can also select symbols map view. This will display the sales as bubbles on the map and the size of the bubble will correspond to the sales value for each region. For example, the bubble on California looks pretty big compared to other states. So we can infer that California is doing good in sales. Filled map views displays colored states. As you can see in the legend, the states in red have low sales value compared to the ones in green that have high sales value. Similarly, there are other interesting views like the heat maps, highlight tables, tree maps, horizontal bars, stacked bars, pie charts, circle views, and the packed bubbles view. If you observe, some views are grayed out. This is because our selected dimension and measure do not meet the criteria specified by that visualization. When you hover over the view, you will see that the fields required to work with that particular view are displayed at the bottom. For example, the scatter plots view requires two or more measures. So let's select the profit and sales measure. Now if you see the scatter plot view is now available. Thus Tableau helps us to create different views of the data quickly and easily. In this tutorial you learned 
how to create views in Tableau manually and automatically. Thank you.